right so today we are going to talk about vestibulo ocular reflex first of all i will tell you actually this lecture will be having five parts number one what is what is vestibulo ocular reflex and what is its purpose number two what are the neural pathways what are the neural pathways for the vestibulo ocular reflex after that we'll talk about vestibulo ocular reflex now onward sometimes i will call vestibulo ocular reflex i will call it vor so vor in alert person alert person and then i will explain that vor in yes coma toast person coma toast person and in the end i will talk about vor and other neurological lesions neurological lesions right so we are going to talk about vestibulo ocular reflex first we'll discuss what is vestibulo ocular reflex then what is what are the neural Neuro pathways yes, which are controlling this reflex yes. path reflex activity and then we'll talk about what is the role of vor in alert person and how is the vor in the comatose person and then vor in other neurological lesions so first of all we are try to answer the first question what is vestibulo ocular reflex and why we need it let me tell you one thing as you know that our eyes are our eyes are like movie cameras here we can just imagine take my eyes as movie cameras right and my head as a platform so you can imagine that these two movie cameras are mounted on platform which is called my head right now the important thing is that uh, eyes only make eyes only make a clear image when the image of the object fall on the fovea fovea centralis on the retina right now so it's very important when we want to look at thing clearly the image should be falling only on the retinal fovea or focus on the fovea it means that eye as a camera should be focused very well right towards the object but the problem is that that eyes are mounted like camera on the head head is a platform which is mobile head is a platform which is mobile, mobile. head is not a fixed platform and this creates issues what are the issues let's suppose we just imagine for a while that if eyes are fixed cameras are fixed on the platform cameras are fixed on the platform right then if i'm walking if i'm walking what happens my head is rotating right or left or bopping up and down right. when head is moving if cameras are fixed it's just like that cameras are yes. also moving with the platform yes. do you think then external object image can be focused on fovea properly no no, no. so this is the point first to understand yes. that what is the issue and the, right and how that issue is resolved by vestibulo ocular reflex the issue is that that eyes are mounted on head head is the platform eyes are the movie cameras for example and head is day to day life head is a mobile platform it keep on rotating right or left or keep on rotating up and down right or tilting right and due to this reason if eyes were fixed then whenever head will tilt down eyes will also tilt down right or if i head rotate rightward i will also rotate rightward yes. if i were fixed the issues will be then that let's suppose i'm looking at an object right and my head rotate rightward let's suppose i'm looking at an object i'm looking at my finger and my head rotate rightward if my head rotate rightward and if i is also rotate with the head then the object or finger image falling on the retina will slip from the fovea yes you understand if fovea was like this right this is a fovea and this is the foveas and if my head move and eyes also move with the head the image will slip on the fovea yes. and it will get blurred and it will get blurred, blurred. is that right yes. so 
the in our natural system this is a very powerful and very very accurate and rapid reflex activity what is that reflex activity it's, i will again explain with the platform head is the platform here are the movie cameras if i'm looking at this finger if head rotate leftward i should eyes should rotate rightward let's suppose this is the platform if platform rotate leftward then camera should not be fixated as you know if cameras were fixated if platform move rightward what will happen if camera also move rightward then image will not remain fixated on the fovea right so nature has provided a wonderful mechanism what is that the mechanism is called vestibulo ocular reflex that within the head there are motion sensors the platform movement sensing mechanism that is called vestibular apparatus vestibular apparatus which is part of the inner ear vestibular apparatus has sensory system sensory receptors which can detect the movement of the head which can detect the rotational acceleration or they they can detect the linear acceleration so there are motion sensors in your head so whenever platforms move motion sensors are activated and then what happen motion sensors vestibular system stimulate the nerves which control the extraocular muscle in such a way if, if that if head is rotating rightward eyes should rotate yeah. leftward if platform is rotating rightward then as a compensatory movement cameras rotate leftward so that image remain foveated well yes. right. is that right or if head rotate leftward then eyes should rotate right. rightward so that image remains stable on the foveas and this mechanism that movement of the head leads to the movement of the eyes movement of the head lead to reflex movement of the eyes right yes. in such a fashion that movement of the eye is compensatory movement to the head movement how compensatory that whenever head is moved eyes move yes in opposite direction in the same degree so that object remain foveated yes. so image remain clear it doesn't get blur let me tell you a classical example let's suppose you are sitting with your old girlfriend and both of you go okay you are sitting in a stadium watching the ice hockey you are uh, watching the hockey match right and here is your girlfriend and now you are very interested in the match there are very good movements going on you don't want to miss split second of the match but your girlfriend as usually they want attention time to time she talk to you so out of courtesy because she is new girlfriend out of courtesy you turn your head to her yes you turn your head to her but your eyes remain fixated on the match so if you are turning head rightward your eyes will deviate leftward while keeping the match activity on your foveas this is what happens when you have a old, old girlfriend but if it's a new new oh no no this happen when there's a new girlfriend my friend if there's a old girlfriend you just tell her please let me see right so this movement that when you were turning your head toward out of courtesy you are turning your head towards your girlfriend but reflex your your eyes remain on the match, on the match. so head turn rotate rightward right and eyes rotate leftward this is operated by vestibulo ocular reflex that vestibular system detected the motion and moved the eye reflexly vestibulo ocular reflex right another way to explain importance of vestibulo ocular reflex that if you are watching across a street if you are walking across a street and reading the street signs different billboards and other things you are reading them having fun with your life no worries 
and you are just reading them what happens with every step your head is moving but street signs on which you are focusing they remain clear right this is due to vestibular ocular reflex because when your head is moving eyes are making compensatory movement immediately within 10 millisecond yes. it's a, such a brisk reflex it takes less than 10 millisecond that uh, when your head is moving eyes make a compensatory move to keep the uh, image properly focused on fovea is that right yes. how you can learn this importance let's suppose due to any reason due to any reason your vestibular ocular reflex is not working but otherwise you, your neurological system is okay and then if you you are walking across the street what will happen that if vestibular uh, vestibular ocular reflex or war is not adjusting the eyes with the movement of the platform yes. then what will happen images will jump yes. right images will jump. jump and you cannot read the signboards because or you cannot read the street boards because they get blurred because again and again they they the image of those boards slip away from phobia am i clear yes. is that right so that is why uh, vestibular ocular reflex is actually responsible in it is a motion it is our personal motion off, offset mechanism it is our personal motion offset mechanism for the eyes right so again i will repeat it what is vestibular ocular reflex and what is its purpose vestibular ocular reflex is a reflex activity in which when head moves the motion is detected by vestibular organs right and these detect motion detectors through certain neuronal pathway which i will explain lead to conjugate eye movement opposite to the movement of direction of the head but in the same degree so that external world image remains stable on your fovea right if you see if you imagine a man who was walking right and he has a, had a movie camera and if he is walking what will happen as his body will move if movie camera also move you see the movie will jump up and down but for you, when you are walking, your eyes movie cameras, world does not jump up and down. Why? Because thank God we have vestibular, vestibular ocular reflex. Yes. Now, let's see how it works. Yes. I will take a simple example. If I rotate my head rightward, right? Yes. If my, I rotate my head rightward, if vestibular ocular reflex is operating, my eyes should reflexly move Left. leftward. Right. So how it happens, right? So let me draw the vestibular operators, central nervous system connections, recti muscles and movement of the eyes. Right? Let's start with it. Like any reflex activity, what should be the component? There should be a stimulus. We'll see what is the stimulus which stimulates the vestibular operators. Then for every reflex activity, there should be a stimulus. Then there should be a sensor, a receptor. Here the receptors will be Christi in the semicircular canal and macula in the utricle and utricle and secure. Then there should be central nervous system connections and then there should be efferent, efferent pathway motor nerves which are third and sixth and then recti muscle which are the effector. We'll go into detail right now. Okay, let's suppose if I rotate my head rightward, what happens? Right? How this system operates? This is, yeah, these are my eyes. And uh, let's suppose these are the muscles. These are the recti. And this is the lateral lattice of left eye. Here it is left. Left side and this is the right side, okay? Now, if these two muscles contract, the what is this muscle lateral lattice of left eye and medial lattice of the right, right, eye. right eye both eyes will move conjugately to the left, left side left. and if these muscles contract what is this medial lattice of left, left, eye. left eye and lateral lattice of left. Right, right, eye. right eye right so if these muscle yes 
these muscles what are these these are basically medial rectus of the left eye and lateral, lateral rectus of the right if they contract simultaneously eyes will deviate to the right world now we are taking an example this example is just to understand how vestibular ocular reflex operate what are its neuronal system we are uh, taking this example if head rotate rightward how motion is detected in the vestibular system and how eventually eyes rotate leftward let's start with it i will draw the semicircular canal right because when head is rotating this is a rotational acceleration right now what will happen i will draw here yes semicircular canal this is right semicircular canal and here i will draw left semicircular canal right now in this semicircular canal this is a bony canal made of bone and within this canal uh, there is membranous what is this there is membranous duct right what is this membranous duct and in this canal yes this swollen part of the canal is called ampulla right and this membrane is also ampulla the swollen part of the semicircular canal system i'm showing this is what right semicircular canal and this is left semicircular canal while i rotate my head rightward rotate like this so it means the rotation is going in this direction and here this is rotation in that direction yes. now how this rotation will produce signals here how this rotation will produce signal here actually there is a special structure here there is collection of the sensory cells that collection of the sensory cells is called that collection is called cristae and those sensory cells are called hair cells so let me show you the hair cells here that these are your hair cells right they have one large hair cell this is large one this is called kinocilium and smaller are called stereocilia right and at the top of these hair cells right there is a gelatinous material there is gelatinous material this is like a cap and this gelatinous cap like a jelly this cap is called copula this cap is called copula and what is this this is hair cells and collection of hair cell is called cristi because it is present in ampulla this is called cristi ampullaris right now what really happens that in this this is very important to understand that here the fluid which is present okay let me show this fluid green the fluid which is between the bone the fluid which is between the yes what is this bone, bone and i will show it with a slightly different color okay let me show with this color this fluid which is between the bone and the membranous area this is called perilymph what is called perilymph peri and fluid which is inside here this is called endolymph, endolymph. what is it called endolymph. endolymph now when head rotate rightward of course bony and membranous part are fixed so this bony and membranous duct they both rotate rightward but the fluid is free inside because fluid is free on initial rotation in the beginning of the rotation fluid will have inertia so it will stay at its position so what will happen that membranous part will rotate rightward but fluid due to inertia does not rotate with it with the same velocity and due to inertia it stays there so what will happen apparently this fluid moves leftward this fluid moves leftward so this fluid is moving towards the ampulla so this is called ampullopetal movement of this fluid which is endolymph remember membranous what is this this is membranous duct outside the membranous duct this is perilymph 
inside the membranous duct there is endolymph when head rotate rightward horizontal semicircular canal on the right side also rotate rightward but fluid due to its inertia moves leftward relative to the bony and membranous canal and it put pressure on the copula and deflect the copula right and this copula deflect towards the kinocilium direction copula deflect deflect towards the kinocilium so in this case i will show that yes i will show here copula is deflected like this copula is deflected towards the ampulla or towards the this is the largest uh, cilium on this side kinocilium copula is deflected like that when copula is deflected like that that changes the electrical activity in these hair cells this mechanical bending of copula right changes the what is this it changes the activity in the hair cell and they are depolarized they are depolarized so we say when endolymph is making ampulopetal movement towards the ampulla ampulopetal movement copula deflect in such a fashion, fashion right copula is deflected and that produces yes more uh, copula produces action deflection of copula produces action potential uh yes actually produces depolarizations in these hair cells and these depolarizations right as these cells undergo more and more depolarization they produce more and more action potentials in the associated vestibular nerve as you know vestibular nerve these are cell bodies of these neurons because these neurons have a peripheral process which are connected with the hair cell and central process which are going to the vestibular nuclei in the brain stem yes. right and this nuclei these uh, ganglion is called scarpa's ganglion what is it called scarpa's ganglion. yes scarpa's ganglion so what we can say you move the head yes rotate it rightward endolymph rotates in this yeah. right in the right what uh, canal, canal it when it rotate leftward it produces ampulopetal movement it depolarizes the hair cell that increases the rate of action potential it increases the frequency of action potential in the right vestibular nerve now these fibers will go and get connected with the vestibular nuclei and here is right vestibular nuclear complex okay let me draw it this is right vestibular nuclear complex and here is left vestibular nuclear complex it is present at pontomedullary junction in the brain stem now what really happens that these fibers get connected with the medial vestibular nucleus this is medial vestibular nucleus this is superior vestibular nucleus this is lateral vestibular nucleus this is inferior, inferior vestibular nucleus for vestibular ocular reflex for horizontal conjugate movement the main vestibular nucleus is medial, medial vestibular nucleus so what we get said that right vestibular nerves was stimulated increased action potential go to what is this right medial, medial vestibular nucleus now medial vestibular nucleus is connected with the abducens nucleus right uh, let me show you here is six nerve nucleus right and here is also six nerve nucleus okay and here is third nerve nucleus and here is third nerve nucleus right and let me show you this is the midbrain and here it is pons let me draw it more clearly this is third nerve nucleus of course where is it in the midbrain okay in the midbrain mid -brain. so here is your midbrain and here is your pons okay now when rotation to the right side yes fluid move in the right leftward stimulate 
deflected towards the kinocilium in the right semicircular canal in the cristae and polaris is stimulated a frequency of action potential in right vestibular nerve is increased the stimulate yes medial, medial vestibular nucleus medial vestibular nucleus on the right side is cross connected is cross connected with the yes it is cross connected with the abducent nucleus right on the left side now from the subducent nucleus from the nucleus of abducens some fiber directly go to sixth cranial nerve uh, it is sixth cranial nerve and abducent nerve and stimulate the lateral rectus if say lateral and some other fibers act as interneurons act as interneurons they are also stimulated simultaneously right yes. interneurons and these interneurons from the sixth nerve nucleus or abducens nucleus they exit and go contralaterally and ascend upward and go to the what is this oculomotor nerve nucleus and from the oculomotor nerve nucleus these fibers stimulate what are these the fibers from the oculomotor nerve the fibers which are going to the medial rectus on right side so what really happens now listen very carefully whole connection again you move the head rotate the head rightward now i will show i rotate the right head rightward right then cristium polaris is stimulated yes. on right ear that stimulate the medial rectus on right, right vestibular medial nucleus medial. it stimulate the medial nucleus of right vestibular nuclear complex and this medial rectus oh, so, oh, sorry medial nucleus not rectus this medial nucleus stimulate which nucleus left of descent and left of descent number 1 directly stimulate the left, left lateral rectus through the sixth nerve and through the interneurons stimulate right oculomotor nerve to stimulate the medial rectus medial of, of right, eye. right eye when these two muscles are stimulated what will happen eyes will deviate to the left, left side what will really happen that i will show like this then head rotate to the right side eyes will rotate to the left yes side. left side eyes will rotate to the left side. left side so this is a very basic as you can see information how vestibular ocular reflex work now actually one thing more happens let's take it at a higher level one thing more happen because when you rotate the head to the right word not only right the there is change in electrical activity in the right semicircular canal horizontal but there is also change in electrical activity related with the left side now what happen when i move my head right word something happen here also and what is that let's go and study that now head is moving right word here is also same operators which is called yes kinocilia and stereocilia and the hair cells you understand it yes right and uh here are what are what are these nerves vestibular nerve and what is this nerve right or left left vestibular yeah. nerve and of course there is also copula now remember one thing here here when this canal will move rightward fluid due to inertia will move leftward so it is not ampulopetal it is not moving towards the ampulla it is moving away from the ampulla this is called ampullo ampullo fugal motion of the endolymph here it was ampullo petal so this was deflected towards the kinocilium here the copula was deflected towards the kinocilium here because fluid moves away from the ampulla or away from the kinocilium this will deflect like that right so it is deflecting away from the kinocilium kinocilium is this one right now here deflection was in this way but this was towards the ampullopet this was ampullopetal flow 
and here it was amplo fugal flow this was towards the kinocilium just imagine this is the kinocilium this deflection was towards the kinocilium this is away from the kinocilium when movement is towards the kinocilium there is stimulation when it is away from the kinocilium there is inhibition is that right so right cristium polaris is stimulated on right rotation and left is inhibited this is depolarized and that is hyperpolarized and when this is hyperpolarized or inhibited then what happened the vestibular nucleus just for simplicity i will make it a red pathway right this is which uh, nerve eighth cranial nerve on right side or left side left and this is connected to medial vestibular nucleus on the left side it's laterally right and of course this is again connected in the same fashion contralaterally to abducens nucleus and contralateral abducens nucleus this is which nerve right lateral rectus this is sixth nerve on the right side and here what it is medial longitudinal fasciculus yes. right through contralateral medial longitudinal fasciculus remember this is right medial longitudinal fasciculus right and here is left medial longitudinal fasciculus am i right yes. now what did we say when i rotated rightward right this green pathway was stimulated and this <coughs> red pathway was inhibited is that right yes. so green muscles were stimulated and red muscles were inhibited so what will happen that when green muscles were stimulated eyes conjugately move leftward and relaxation of red muscles facilitate the movement the left. leftward yes. you understand this is how vestibular ocular reflex work that this is a reflex activity right and motion detector in this rotational acceleration motion detector were our vestibular horizontal canal is that right and this were our receptor like a reflex activity now we can say yes for any reflex activity like any reflex activity number one there should be receptors can you tell me what are receptors what are receptors these here cells which are cristium polaris these are the receptors yes then then afferent neuron sensory neuron afferent neuron afferent neuron which put the information to the central nervous system what is this eighth cranial nerve what is that eighth cranial nerve or vestibular part of eighth cranial nerve this take the information to the central nervous system then there is part of central nervous system part of central nervous system which is playing here is vestibular nucleus and their connections with the abducens nucleus yes is that right part of the central nervous system and then there is efferent neuron motor neurons and what are these six neurons in the sixth nerve and why are the medial longitudinal fasciculus oculomotor nerve and then there are effectors effectors are the motor response here the recti muscles like yes. right? so what we can say for that how many components of reflex are here the complete five components what is first component is what are the what are the receptors for vestibular ocular reflex right for example it is it is receptors are basically present in vestibular organs for linear rotation for linear rotation there are maculae in n maculae n this is a patch of sensory uh, hair cells maculae in utricle and sacul for rotational these are cristae in the semi ampulla of semi circular canals these are the receptors for the vestibular ocular reflex afferent nerve the input nerve input to central nervous system is eighth cranial nerve processing in central nervous system right this is medial vestibular nucleus and its connection with contralateral 
abducent nerve nucleus efferent nerves the motor nerves which are now taking the orders right that is sixth cranial nerves and third cranial nerve right and then effectors are rectile muscles this these are basically compound but you should remember what is the stimulus for these these vestibular ocular reflex here we have shown the stimulus is rotation rotational movement of the head there can be other stimulus also but before that i will just make it more clear now yes here the activities increase on rotation on right yes. and activity in all this green pathways increase frequency of action potential in all this green pathways increased and these muscles are contracting but at the same time yes here the activity is decreased, decreased right and what really happens that right moving muscles are relaxing and left moving muscles are contracting contracting is that right this is how eyes move to the left now just to check your your understanding we do opposite rather than rotating to the right side let's imagine head rotates left side if head rotate right left side if head rotate left side eyes should conjugately move reflexly rightward rightward how it happens how it happens now you will tell me if head rotate leftward yes. right so what will happen now if head rotate rightward now be careful leftward. yeah leftward if head is rotating leftward yes. what will happen I'm here the fluid will move towards the ampulla yes. this red pathway will be stimulated here when head rotate leftward fluid will move away from the ampulla yes. right yes. and this will be inhibited yes. and when green is stimulated yes. eyes will deviate to the left side yes. is that clear yes. so, so you are understanding sorry green no red is stimulated and green pathway is inhibited and head uh, eyes uh, head will rotate left and eyes will rotate right, right. Yes. is that clear yes. if you have understood this very clearly are you clear or not yes. okay now i will add 